back to a pro in every house that will see her. This is the only language arts 600, book six. Your view from the back of my classroom. All right, <coughs> sixth grade. Book six, lesson one. We have a new year, a new, a new book. I'm excited. Um, what kind of compliments follow action verbs? Direct object, indirect object. Direct object or an indirect object. What kind of compliments follow linking verbs? Linking, uh, predicate, non present predicate, adjective. Good. Solomon was a king. What is a compliment? King. King. And what is it? Predicate nominative. Solomon was wise. Predicate adjective is wise. Good. Uh, mother baked a pie. Pie. And it is a? Direct object. Direct object. Mother baked me a pie. Me is an indirect object and pie is a direct object. Good. And those are with action verbs. Okay. Today's lesson we are learning about are positives. Positives are not at all difficult. Uh, it's whenever you stutter, whenever you say two things in a row. You might well say, my sister, but you've got so many sisters, we don't know which sister you're, you're talking about. So you might say, my sister... No, that's not going to work. I was going to say, in the red dress, but that's not a positive, because that's not a noun. That's a phrase. But my sister, who goes to school? That's not a positive, it's not a phrase. Um, it's a phrase, positives can be phrases, but it's not a noun. We need to have a noun. My sister, the teacher, told me to do my work. So there we go. Sister, teacher, two nouns in a row. Um, my favorite, a positive, because it sounds kind of like a positive, the word positive, is apostle. Paul, the apostle, wrote Galatians. So when you hear a positive, think of the apostle Paul. The apostle Paul. Paul, the apostle. Many times whenever we talk about Paul, we say apostle Paul. I don't know why we say that. But many times we don't say Paul wrote. People say the apostle Paul wrote. Um, I don't know what other Paul there is that we're trying to dis separate him from. But the Apostle Paul, or Paul the Apostle, and the Apositive is always the second one. Always the second one. So Paul the Apostle. Paul and Apostle are talking about the very same person. We could just say, the Apostle wrote Galatians. Or we could say, Paul wrote Galatians. It's like we're stuttering, we're repeating something. And the second thing here is the Apositive. And the Apositive is the noun itself. This would be called an appositive phrase, the apostle. It hooks up with it, the appositive phrase. In this sentence, the reign of the Roman Emperor Augustus brought prosperity to Rome. What is the appositive there? Emperor and Empress. So which word is the appositive? So this is a noun, emperor, and this is a noun, Augustus. The second noun in the series is the appositive. Emperor Augustus brought prosperity to Rome. What is the appositive in the next sentence? Australia, the smallest continent, is home to many unusual animals. What? Continent is appositive. Continent is the appositive. Are there any words that go with continent? Australia. The whole thing, the smallest continent. This is all an appositive. It's a long, positive phrase. And here is a trick. Some of positives are short, and we don't put commas around them. But when the positives are long, we put commas, commas around them. There's a long, a positive phrase. So here we've got a positive phrase, the smallest continent. There are commas. That can help you know, hey, here's the positive. This is where it starts and stops with the commas. Australia, the smallest continent. Now, can we take it out? Does that make sense? Australia is home to many unusual animals. Yeah, we can always remove positives. Or we could also just say, the smallest continent is home to many unusual animals. Either way, let's diagram it now, the second one. What's the verb? Is. Is. Who or what is? Australia. Now, this is going to get difficult. Which word in here is the actual positive? Continent. Continent, good. That's the actual noun. So, the a positive is never the noun itself. Australia is positive. Good. Australia is. But what we have to do is we're going to back way up here and go Australia. And then parentheses. Good. And then parentheses coming after it. Continent. And under continent, the is smallest. Now, Australia is who or what? Home. Home. And Shana, what kind of a line do we draw between home and Slanted. I think you got confused as I was checking your tests. I think maybe you did get confused. Um, 
Since it's a linking verb, always assign it to nine. Is home uh, to many unusual animals. I think that's going to go under the is, we're going to go is to animals. And many. When you repeat and, and do the Apostle Paul, you do your repeat. I want you to read the spelling words to you so you know how they sound. Oh. Broccoli, category, chili, contrary, courtesy, cruelty, dormitory, eternity, galaxy, gravity, harmony, hickory, laboratory, petty, poultry, quantity, safari, salami, savory, tree. <coughs> Carry on to work. 